everybody, Omega here. Thanks for checking out the video today. And today I'm going to be talking about five of my favorite epic heroes to use in war. Now these are going to be mostly offensive based. Actually, they will all be mostly offensive based. And what I mean by that is, yes, you can put them on your defense teams, but these are heroes that uh, attack and do damage or damage over time, which is dots. Um, there's a lot of different epics that you need for war that are really fantastic. Um, I'll probably do another video on support heroes. Um, these, and I could probably do 5, 10, 15 more um, offensive epic heroes that you could use in war. But um, to keep the video short today and not too long, um, I will be doing a part 2 and 3 of this series. Um, so we're going to look at five heroes and actually there'll be a sixth hero that I'll talk about as well as kind of like an honorable mention. Um, but these are five great heroes to use for, uh, offense and war, uh, epics. These should be in everybody's roster who, uh, participates in wars and who builds war teams. Um, so again, thanks for checking out the video, uh, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, please subscribe. I do appreciate the support. Uh, the more likes and subscribes I get uh, from you guys, the more content I can put out and the more promo codes that I can get for you guys. Um, so if you look at the bottom of your screen right now, you'll see the promo code uh, that you can use for some free loot. And everybody knows, especially in the game right now, all the loot we can get is good loot. Alright, so first we're going to start with Rosalia. Most people already know about her. Um, if you're newer to the game, she's an epic hero that you just must have. Um, she's one of my favorites to use in war. Um, she's good for offense and defense, but she's a fantastic damage dealer. Uh, she deals damage based on defense, and if you have this relic on her, Gauntlet of Thorns, she's going to do even more damage. Um, that is the ideal relic for her. For her. Um, so, her Miraculous Slash, she deals damage to a single enemy, 410% defense, and she ignores 20% defense. So that's a really good passive, 30% chance to deal damage to a single enemy, 328% of caster's defense, ignores 20% of target's defense, uh, whenever taking damage from a special ability, gains 10% defense for every living enemy, and mana gain increased by 1 once she's max skilled. Uh, like I said, she's a fantastic hero. Most people that have been playing the game for a while already know about her, but if you're newer to the game and she's not in your war roster, you need to start working on her immediately. Um, these heroes are uh, good enough to where even if you, uh, even though they are epics, uh, and you're using them in war, a lot of times you can use these on your legendary teams as well because um, they're fantastic heroes. All right, moving on. Next one I'm going to talk about is old Frank. Frank's another great hero for war. He can snipe purple enemies pretty quickly. Um, uh, he is a hero that does damage based on 40% of casters max HP so the higher HP he has the more damage he's going to do and he ignores 30% defense and he has a 50% chance to recast which means he's got a 50% chance to use his special ability twice um, he does have an attack leader skill increases the attack of all allies in guild related battles by 32% there's a bunch of different relics you can use for him um, I like Code of uh, Corvus Cord Codex. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, I like to use that one for him. But again, Frank is another fantastic hero you can use. Uh, now we're going to come up on three of my absolute favorites. I love, love, love these Warlock Sisters. I call them the Day of the Dead Warlock Sisters. Um, there are three of them that are absolutely fantastic. The first one that we're going to look at and I've talked about her before in some of my previous videos is Dusa. She has so much upside. 40% um, chance to use her special ability twice. 
um, is a fantastic passive that she has. Uh, her main special, 100% chance to inflict burn on all enemies, enemies for three turns. 100% chance to inflict heal block on all enemies for three turns. And she has a 50% chance to inflict decreased speed on all enemies for three turns. Um, she has an accuracy leadership skill. Increases the accuracy of all allies in guild related battles by 40%. I like to use the Staff of Misery Relic on her. Um, and increases the accuracy by 17%. Um, it's even higher than that once you have the Relic completely maxed out. 100% chance to inflict silence for two turns on a single enemy with the highest accuracy. So whatever enemy has the highest accuracy on the defense you're, you're fighting, uh, she's going to inflict silence on them. Um, and the resistance of every enemy is decreased by 3% for every pos positive status the equipped hero has. So I do like Staff of Misery on her a lot. Again, she's a fantastic hero. Um, definitely should be in every every war lineup for epic teams the next warlock sister i'm going to talk about is zarya she has a hundred percent chance to inflict burn on all enemies a hundred percent chance to inflict snare on all enemies for three turns a 50 percent chance to inflict status block on all enemies for three turns and um she has an incredible passive as well 100 percent chance to remove one positive status from a target enemy when dealing damage with gemstones um, or 100% chance to remove two positive statuses from target enemy when dealing damage with gemstones. If the target enemy is affected by Soul Link, um, she's also immune to curse and decreased speed. Um, she has an accuracy skill, a uh, leader skill, but it's an arena skill. You won't really use her as your arena leader very often or at all. So, um, again, another awesome hero to have. All right, the third one I'm going to talk about is going to be Divna. 100% chance to inflict heal block on a single enemy for four turns. 100% chance to inflict freeze on a single enemy for four, two turns. So these particular class of heroes are going to give you, um, they're going to give you cleanse. They're going to give uh, you buff removal. They're going to give you dots to use. Um, they're going to give you crowd control. Uh, there's just so many up, so much upside to these particular epics that's why i love them so much this one is great too because she also has a speed leader skill um in all guild related battles for 17 uh speed and we all know how important speed is in wars um i try to get mine as fast as possible um, i would like to have her a little bit faster but um as of right now she's about 379 speed but um, we want to make sure she's a fully awakened and fully skilled up to get her max uh, the max use out of her that you can all right last but certainly not least we're going to talk about uma umi now um i had to go to the lexicon for her because unfortunately i do not have her she has been eluding me for a very long time now uh, i've tried and tried to get her but unfortunately i just can't pull her hopefully i, I will get her soon but um she's a fantastic hero one of the best epics in the game in my opinion um, she just does so much damage over time 100 percent chance to inflict burn on a single enemy for three turns 100 percent chance to inflict bleed on a single enemy for three turns 100 percent chance to inflict poison on other enemies for uh, three turns and again being a stellar hero she also obviously has an awesome passive as well uh, when she inflicts burn on an enemy, she deals true damage based on 20% or excuse me, 25% of the target's max HP. After inflicting two negative statuses in total, she deals true damage based on 15% of target's max HP to all enemies. And her mana gain is decreased by 40% just because she's obviously a stellar hero. So those are the five or six must-have epics for war um, offense you can also use them on your defense as i as i said before but um, for attacking and dot and crowd control these are the ones that you really want to have i will do a part two um, of this series coming up soon um, i want to thank everybody again for checking out the video make sure you like and subscribe and i hope you guys appreciate the promo code 
um, and there'll be more to come on that side of it too. All right. Thanks, guys. Omega. Peace out.